Um, first of all, it's, it's wonderful to be here, to be at this school. Um, this is the first time for the Medea Awards that we're organizing a workshop in the location of one of our finalists. And so I'm delighted to be with Professor Mandrao and his colleagues and his students who submitted a wonderful entry that was a finalist last year in our awards. And so this is really special for us to be here with you today. So thank you very much. Um, I'm not going to speak for very long, don't worry, about 10 minutes, just to tell you a little bit about the background to the awards and to give you some websites and some addresses. So what we're trying to do is obviously not just to have an award scheme, but to share experience and expertise in the use of media to support teaching and learning. So, um, to tell you a little bit about the awards, uh, we set ourselves up in 2007 originally uh, with partners in different parts of Europe uh, because we believed that it was only when education really reflected the lives of our students, which are multimedia lives, that education really can have a value and so we see this connection between media and education as being a very important and a very strong one. And that's the background to the awards. The award scheme is open every year. Uh, it's a free to enter award. It doesn't cost anything to enter. It's open to both students and amateur users, if you like, people who are making media themselves for teaching and learning and also professional production facilities. So, for example, uh, tomorrow you'll meet Helen from the BBC. Um, that's a very professional organisation working with schools and she'll tell you about her entry. So, we really have a very wide type, all sorts of organisations entering the awards every year. We're keen on all kinds of media use, animation, web lectures, documentaries, linear video, so it's open to all sorts of different uses of media. It's a free to enter competition and you can enter in six different languages including Italian. So you can do your complete entry in Italian online. So that's important to know. It's not in English, it's in six different languages you can enter. Um, the competition then, every year we have finalists. So we identify eight or nine entries that become finalists and we bring them to Brussels uh, to the annual conference that we organize in Brussels every year. Um, we organize a conference with the Flemish Ministry of Education. Belgium, as you may know, is divided into two main communities and we're working with the Flemish Ministry of Education. And the prizes for the awards include software and hardware and we also have an award, an actual, our equivalent of an Oscar. She's called Medea, a little bit different. And we, afterwards, we see the awards as not the end of our connection, but in fact the beginning of our relationship with our finalists and with people who enter. Because after we have had this connection through the competition, we then publish a case study of each of our finalists on our website, and I'll show you where you can find those. We do interviews with our finalists, including with Professor van der Ena, and we also then make connections afterwards for workshops such as this, um, for providing expertise and sharing in Europe the kind of, of expertise that they have. Um, this year we have a series of four main awards, well two main awards, um, a user generated main award and a professionally produced main award. We also have a special award this year for an entry that highlights European collaboration so where there's collaboration from one European country to another. And we also have a special award this year for Education Media, which is promoting active ageing. This is the year for active ageing in European terms, and so we have a special award for that this year as well. And we also have a special jury award some years when the jury decides there's something of particular value that they'd like to come in, that they'd like to, uh, they'd like to highlight, that they'd like to recognize. There are five uh, judging criteria, so entries are judged according to the following five criteria. The first and the most important is the pedagogical quality. Is this something that is really good for teaching and learning? Um, secondly, how good is the use of media and the integration of media? Thirdly, aesthetic quality. Is it pleasing? Is it nice to look at? Do we like it? Um, usability is the fourth criteria. And then finally, technical quality. So those are our five judging criteria. And this is all explained on our website as well. 
Uh, I'm not going to go through all of the winners, just simply to say that if you, and I'll show you the site in a moment, you'll see that since, since 2008 we've had some years 250, other years, last year I think we had 115 online entries from 28 countries, and we ended up then with four main award winners and nine finalists. So just to highlight to you, last year the winner of our professional production award uh, was a game, Monkey Tales Games, which was made in fact by a Belgian company, a Belgian publisher, and we also had a special award for educational media promoting volunteering last year, which was an Irish entry uh, on a linear video showing the value of working in a Special Olympics. So that will give you a little bit of a flavour of the different kinds of entries that we have, and I'll show you a site in a moment where you can see the rest. So just to explain to you that this Medea Awards annual competition is at the centre of a series of activities that you're very welcome to join and to get involved with. Um, we see the awards every year as being like the lifeblood. So it provides an opportunity to bring new people into the network, people like yourselves who are really interested in using media to support teaching and learning. Um, we run an annual conference in Brussels uh, which attracts about 300 people. Uh, this year it takes place on the 14th and 15th of November, if you'd like to take part. We also publish a newsletter every month. Um, it's published every month in English, and then every second month, we publish it also in Italian, Polish, Spanish, French, and German. And CSB, in fact, resend this out to a series of recipients in Italy. And if you'd like to be on the mailing list, you're very welcome to receive the newsletter. Uh, we also have a growing community of practice, um, this manifests itself through very active Facebook and LinkedIn groups that you're very welcome to join. Uh, again, it's growing. There are nearly 500 uh, members of the LinkedIn group. Uh, Facebook group is about the same. Uh, we also have language-specific communities of practice, if you're interested in joining those as well. And we also have a resources database where we try to find good resources, good materials, guidelines that might be useful for you in your work. And again, some are available in Italian. You can look through the resources database and see what's there. We also run workshops. So this is a typical workshop of the type that we're involved with. Uh, one, two-day workshops on specific topics. Uh, we also run week-long training workshops, uh, which are mostly on the use of video to support teaching and learning which are, if you're interested in taking part, you can apply for funding under either the Grundvig programme or the Comenius programme of the European Commission. And then we've been uh, involved in several European projects to support all of these activities. So the one that we're currently engaged with is the Medea 2020 project. This is where we work with partners to specifically do some work around the Medea Awards. So the whole thing, if you like, fits together into a community of practice of people interested in this use of technology. At the end of this year, we're going to launch an association, a European association, which will tie it all somewhat together, which again will be open for membership if you'd like to join. We're very actively engaged in using social media, so you can find, um, as I mentioned, YouTube, or I mentioned Facebook, LinkedIn groups, also YouTube channels, Vimeo channels, uh, where you'll find more uh, other people engaged in the same sort of activity as this. Uh, and second last slide, just like to highlight this address to you on our Medea Awards main website, you'll find this showcase um, facility where there are over 60 showcases now of finalists, winners, including the one from the school here uh, from last year. You can find interviews with previous finalists, um, samples of their material with the links in fact to, uh, to the entry as well. So I think it's a useful resource to have a look and see what other people are doing to get some suggestions and ideas on what they're doing. And this final slide uh, just gives you the list of web addresses. Um, the top one is the award scheme itself. Uh, this is available in six languages, so when you go into the site you can choose for your language, so you can choose for Italian. Um, the conference website, the community, the newsletter, and the Medea 2020 project. Uh, you'll find in your brochures there's a, a round uh, leaflet, which is our Medea Awards leaflet for this year. And the website for the awards is on that, so that's the first one. If you go to that, you'll find the others as well. So that is my 
short uh, summary of the Medea Awards to remind you that the deadline is the 17th of September. So you've plenty of time to get your entries in. And those are the two final addresses.